All right, just making a quick video talking about one of my favorite uses for having a small power station in addition to like a larger one, right? So um, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos, I like to use this little unit for pass-through charging, right? Because um, it has this little 200 watt pure sine wave inverter on it. And because it's just such a small inverter, it's, um, it's actually very efficient because it doesn't use a lot of power just powering um, the inverter itself, right? So um, when you have a big unit like this that has a 1800 watt inverter, um, you know, that's great obviously when you're doing big loads. But if you're just doing like a small load, um, like, like just an example is, you know, one thing I like to power is a, a TV, right? So like a 50 watt TV, if you had just a small load like that running off this big inverter, um, you're just going to like be wasting a ton of power, right? And the reason is uh, an inverter like of this size actually uses about 15 watts or so just being on. So just the inverter being on, not actually powering anything, right? And um, as I made in another video too, um, this unit is, a lot, is, is like a lot of other units where I, I just turn that inverter on and... Um, you know, it, it kind of, you saw it there, it kind of jumped up to about 13 watts for a second. And then it goes back to zero, right? So um, it doesn't actually give you a kind of a true indication that it's using a lot of power, right? So, um, yeah, let's just turn that back off. And uh, let me show you, let me show you a, a little tip and what I like to do. So you can just do pass through charging with this thing, right? So take the, uh, take the car adapter, turn that on. And then uh, we're just going to plug plug it into uh, the jackery here right quick. And, uh, you know, so there we go. And now we got a nice 42 watts coming in. And I can actually um, turn this on and then run like a small load off of this inverter, right? Um, something like, you know, around 50 watts or so, right? And so you're going to be doing that pass-through charge. Um you know, if it's in this case, it's coming in at 42. If it's going to be going out somewhere around 42, um, you know, you're not going to even lose any capacity. But even if it's like 50, 60 watts, you know, that percentage will just, you know, very slowly go down and you can get hours and hours of runtime on it. Right. And um, and yeah, it's just going to be much more efficient because you just got this little inverter powering a small load. Right. So, um yeah, just something I like to do with, with these units and why it's actually nice to have just a small unit on hand because for small loads, it's just going to be much more efficient, right? And um, yeah, so hopefully someone finds that interesting or helpful and thanks for watching.